field trips. You don't know how much of a blessing it was when the teacher was passing out those permission slips to go on a field trip. Any day you didn't have to wake up at 6 a.m. and haul your ass to class was a blessing because school days off were very scarce. Field trips were a blessing from God. It didn't matter if you had to go to like some boring ass museum, it's better than sitting in class. I haven't experienced many field trips in my life, but some of them hit different and some of them were just straight up mid. The first field trip I ever went on, I was geeked, bro. I felt like it was about to be a whole function. So in kindergarten, I went to the zoo and the entire day, all we did was we were just basically baking in the sun and just staring at animals and just marveling at them all day. Now, I don't know how I found any sort of entertainment in that, but I thought it was like the coolest thing ever that I was going to the zoo and seeing animals. And there was literally one kid that tried to climb into the animal enclosure. Hey, hey, all right, kids, this is a lion. And your teacher instructed me not to let you guys feed the lion. So I'm just gonna sit here and tell you some boring ass facts about lions. All right, so uh, lions, they like to hunt, of course, and they even hunt during storm. Whoa. And you can hear a lion's roar from five miles away. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Get down from there, motherfucker. And of course he was freaking out because this dude's literally just about to become lunch for the lion. Like, I don't know why he's trying to climb into an animal enclosure and thought that was a good idea. But our brains were not even close to being halfway developed yet. So obviously this kid's gonna think it's a good idea. So teachers had to like restrain him for the rest of the day like he was some sort of crack addict. He was like spazzing his arms around. Let me go! Hey, let me go! It was rough to witness. I mean, for the rest of the day, we just went around and stared at animals that looked depressed in cages. Like, wow, so fun. I mean, literally anything could keep me entertained when I was in kindergarten. Like, it, it was it was not hard to entertain me. When I was in fourth grade, I went to an aquarium. Same type of deal, just staring at animals all day. I mean, nothing of value really went on, let's be honest. When I was in sixth grade, I went on this pretty cool field trip. It was to a science museum. And when we got on the bus, bro, there was no existing particle of space. We, we we were all just crammed into this bus. The school just did not feel like getting more buses for some reason. When I was on the bus, I was sitting next to my very own birdie plushie. Yes, that's right. You can go on makeship.com and buy your very own birdie plushie. They're out for a limited time, so if you want to get one, buy them now. The link is in the description. And trust me, hear, hear me out for a second. If you buy one, consider it an investment. Because if you have one, everyone's just going to think you're him, bro. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you again to Makeship for making this possible. Or actually, in all seriousness though, I was the end seat with two randoms. Like, I didn't even know these kids. And my ass was just hanging off the seat the entire time. We arrived, it was pretty cool. It was like this big ass museum and there was a bunch of schools there. Like, I saw so many buses lined up. We all got out and, you know, as we encountered the other schools, we had the craziest stare downs of all time. Now, I don't know what it was, but whenever you encountered kids from another school on your field trips, you just have a fucking stare off. Everybody in the herds would just stare at each other menacingly and the entire day we just walked around a museum and yeah some of the stuff was cool but most of it was pretty boring and I kind of just talked to my friends the whole time and there was always that one fucking kid I used to be that kid all right when the teachers would tell everyone to be quiet there was always that one dude that'd be like guys you need to be quiet you're other students perusing the museum and bro shut the hell up no one can even hear us like I don't know why it's such a big deal of course yeah the teachers pets were telling people to be quiet that, that's just how it was and I could testify for that statement as a former teacher's pet unfortunately and then after of course we went in the gift shop and we were all browsing the gift shop and there was always that one person that their parents were just balling and they were just rolling in money and they just basically bought the entire gift shop they were running the gift shop for their money bro they were dropping racks it was like a rapper buying a bunch of designer clothes they walk out and they're all fucking decked out in their gift shop drip and everybody's like whoa how did you get all that stuff hey you know my parents just gave me a few bucks. Whoa, dude, you get like everything in the store? Nah, not everything. I only if my mom gave me five more dollars. Holy shit. You know what? I'm gonna call it right now. <laughs> mom, why didn't you give me five more dollars? <laughs> You're laying on rent? Get your funds up, mom. Get your cheese up, brokey. <laughs> what a peasant. Am I right, guys? That one spoiled kid everyone had them at their school, bro. That was definitely over dramatic, but it was something along those lines. And they were built and sounded like Eric Carmen. It was crazy. The last thing we did that day was we went to a show where basically this dude dressed up as a mad scientist 
was showing us how to conduct electricity with this big ass machine. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty entertaining show, I must say. But the next show we watched on this next field trip was not entertaining at all. This next field trip that I took in seventh grade was to a movie theater and it sucked. We basically had to watch this uh, movie about a book that we were reading in class. Yeah, it fucking blew. I'm gonna play a little flashback for you guys and see if you remember this. Uh, well, actually, I have to go show to my middle school girlfriend. See you guys, bye. Yup, I was with my middle school girlfriend instead. Instead of being with the homies while watching this shit ass movie. Like the movie was already garbage, but I had to like hold her hand the entire time because everybody around me was like, oh, you gotta hold her hand. It would be so romantic. We're in middle school for God's sake. We are barely touching puberty right now. I'm not ready for love, bro. Like if I was streaming memes across the middle school hallway, do you really think I'm ready for love? Fuck no. And on the way back, all right, we hop on the bus us and dude there was always that guy in middle school that whipped out a meme I soundboard. I don't know what it was, but bro was just blasting random memes on his computer. Or that kid that would blast the fucking dog whistle sound. Oh my god, nothing was more annoying than that. And that poor bus driver was about to crash the whip. Hey, shut the fuck up! I don't know who's playing that little doodle D noise back there, but I want you to shut it off right now! And no one wanted to mess with the bus drivers, like I said in my school buses video because they are built like linebackers, bro. They go deck your ass in 0.5 seconds. But on the next field trip, I didn't just get a regular school bus, bro. I got a luxurious ass school bus. Some of you might remember this from the school buses video. But bro, I was living in luxury for that two hours. We were going to an amusement park. That was probably the best field trip I've ever went on. And before this field trip, I was a complete bitch when it came to rides. Like I would not go on anything. But then when my friends started peer pressuring me to go on stuff, Stuff, that is when I actually came to like roller coasters. So we went to this park with a roller coaster that had like a 300 foot drop and my friends were like constantly running it back and they were like, do it or you're a boozy. <laughs> So obviously I, I had to do it, bro. Like I couldn't back out. And hey man, it helped me it did help me get over my fear of roller coasters. And on this trip, unfortunately, like on the way home, you know, everybody had a great day. I was tired as fuck, dude. Like I was just trying to go home and just crash. Everybody was singing on the way there. They practically have gotten their invites into the studio. <laughs> I was trying to beat, beat the case. case. Yeah, I beat, beat, the, case. I beat the case. I did the race. Yeah. Stir the dash. Eat it up. Will not. Yeah, Try yeah, face. yeah. Crash with and a crash and a whip and a. It played at least three or four times on some kid's speaker. That was the song that everyone loved at the time. Maybe because they were getting paid more. That's why they, the bus driver let this slide. No clue. But hey, bro, the suburban white boys were going crazy. That, that's a that's a fire rap group right there. Nah, that shit fire. They got to put it out. Nah, they hella underground, bro. They got to keep digging. But pretty much the entire bus ride was a rap concert. And then all of a sudden, the bus just stopped. It was about like, say, like 30 minutes into our ride. All of a sudden, we just pull over to the side side of the road. And the teacher was like, oh yeah, one of the buses broke down. So we just have to wait for them. Like, bro, that's that's their problem. That's their that's their own problem, bro. Like, come on, nah, get, get my ass home, bro. I'm trying to go home. We don't gotta wait from them. Like, come on, we, we can keep going. Like, I'm trying to get my, my ass in bed, bro. And we were sitting there for like an hour. In the past time, everybody was spilling tea. And you know, I, I had to listen in because it was just so important. The eighth grade drama was crazy. I had to figure out whether Chad and Marissa were dating. Like, it, it was really important, trust me. I had my earbuds in, but I took one out because the drama was just so important. No, I'm kidding. I kept my earbuds in. I did not give a singular fuck about it. But it was wild how that was just able to keep people entertained for that long. Just talking about middle school drama. I get back and I hop in my parents' whip and we go home. They asked me as we were driving home, like, what the hell took you guys so long? I had to explain that unfortunately we had to wait for one of the buses that broke down. And that was kind of tough, bro. I'm not gonna lie. My next field trip it was in the ninth grade. We went to a different park. It was basically the same type of deal. But we get on the bus and bro there is a tv screen on the bus and you can play whatever fucking movie you want i'm like holy shit this is like a goddamn spacecraft compared to the last bus the bus had like air vents and shit in it too like it was wild bro they really went all out on the buses and it was probably much different because we were in high school now but unfortunately after that my sophomore junior and senior year i did not have any field trips which was tough the virus hit and fucked everything over unfortunately i was just locked in the crib most of my time